Shalom, and welcome to our weekly video board for this week's parasha, Parashat Miketz. In this week's parasha, we are introduced to the two sons of Yosef, Menashe and Ephraim. The Torah explains to us the names that were chosen. Menashe, ki nashani elokim et kol amali et kol beit avi. Hashem has made me forget all my hardship and all my father's household. And Ephraim, Hashem has made me fruitful in the land of my sufferings. Ki Ephraim elokim be'eret zoni. It seems that Menashe indicates the evil or the not as perfect posi uh, past as opposed to Ephraim reflects as the positive future. And we learned that also from the Midah HaMelech in the Pasuk and Tehilim, Sur Merah Va'aseh Tov. Yaakov Avinu, on the other hand, in, the, in his blessing at the end of Parashat Vayechi, changes the order and puts his right hand on Ephraim and his left on Menashe. So why is it changing the order? Rabbi Yaakov Ariel, the chief rabbi of Ramat Gan, explains that while on a personal level, that order is correct. First you leave the bad before you move on to the good. That's good on a personal level. But Yaakov was giving the brachot as the foundation of Am Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael. And for that, the good has to come first. That is the way to build a nation. Shabbat Shalom.